Don't worry, my friends. I will defeat the dragon and free you from your fears. Yeah, hello, everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Now that we got that fan moving again, these propeller thingies are actually moved by the fan itself, and that's what you needed to get across here. Although I have some, I have some seen some crazy speedrunning tactics where people hop across those fans using just one claw shot, and it's pretty ridiculous, I have to say. But I'm not that good, <laughs> and nor am I. Uh, nor can I show that now that I got this fan going here. You know, like practice and show and stuff like that. But whatever, that's fine. Let's go and grab onto one of these. Like, it, it's a distance thing, and I probably should grab onto this one first. And if they're moving away from you, you know that's kind of an issue. You guys should go up here first. Yeah, I didn't think that would work. <laughs> yeah, actually. That's why I said that it's, it would be hard to get whatever is in there now that the fan is going. But I, I wasn't sure if that would work, but I was pretty sure that it wouldn't. <laughs> and, oh, I reset the cargo rocks. Good thing they go, only go down with one arrow. Oh, that arrow, you got to time pretty well. Mm. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Mm. Ah, the fans are so slow. <laughs> you also got to take take into account the... Um, they're spinning, so you got to kind of like aim where they're going to be rather than where they currently are. It, it's kind of tricky to get the feel of it, but you can do it! Alright, where's the next one? Where? Ooh, ooh, oh no. Please spin around so I can grab onto it. I don't want to go around again. Okay. <laughs> I was a little worried about that. And I should eventually be able to grab something on the other end. There we go! And when can I let go? Oh, perspective, you are not my friend. Wait, actually, I should be in here, because there's something. It's probably something that I can't pick up in my wallet. Yep. Just because. <laughs> Fine, be that way. Dang wallet. Maybe I should have done that gold bug quest to get my wallet increased to a thousand, but whatever. It's fine. <laughs> I'll spend my money on roll goal if I have to. <laughs> That's a pretty easy way to lose money. Alright, we got another vertical climbing area, only this time it is purely claw shots. Oh, wow. Mini boss. Double mini boss, actually. Come on. Shield it. There we go. Yeah, these are the aerolo forces that you've seen in the other room that I said were a really easy boss and then I ended up falling down the hole <laughs> somehow of all times come on put up your shield already come on there we go uh oh <laughs> he was too far away for me to do the claw shot grab onto him that's fine come on I obviously can't go up until I Oh, she's not that. <laughs> what is wrong with you, Link? When I when I tell you to Z target something, you Z target that something. There we go. <laughs> that, that was just weird. I mean, I shot underneath the aerial foal somehow. Ah, oh, whatever. It's low enough now that it shouldn't cause me too much ire. Shield, come on, put it up. Come on. There you go. <laughs> he, uh, you'll notice that you grab onto his tail, but he has to put up his shield for him to lower his guard, otherwise he'll just dodge your uh, claw shot moves. Alright, so from here, where do I want to go to? Probably up there first. Just because, just because it's a higher vantage point. That's not moving yet. I'm, I'm looking for a switch to make it move. Uh, I 
Unless I have to do, go like that, and see the switch from the other... Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. There we go. Now it should start moving. There! Now let's look ahead. And these uh, fans spin at different rates, so you don't have to worry about them... I mean, you don't have to worry about timing it at a perfect time, and it'll never be at a point where you cannot grab onto the other one. So don't worry about that. Um, those pots down there I'm not going to bother with because it's probably just hearts and rupees and I've got a lot of health and <laughs> my wallet's full. Uh, no. Oh jeez. Oh, oh. oh, mm. Gotta go around again I guess. Or unless I'm on the wrong side of this fan I have to flip over to the other, to the other side but I don't think so. I should, because as I said, they, they spin at different rates. There we go. You just gotta be at the right time. Um, yes. I'm not gonna really bother with the treasure chest ooh, here because, you know, while it's full, I've got everything in the dungeon that's needed, so the other stuff is just treasures. And. Can I grab onto that? Can I? No, I can't. I need to get up to this one first. And from here, good. Which way is spinning? This way. And up above the door is the last claw shot target. And the dungeon is done, aside from the boss. Is there a fairy in one of these pots? Because I would like to... Uh, hmm. You know what, my... Hmm. Oh, I'm fine with my stuff, I guess, but I'll, I'll see if there's a fairy in here anyway. Oh, no fairy. Uh, yeah, let's do the boss. Only seven minutes into this part. So let's finish her off. I'm gonna go dump my wallet. <laughs> I didn't know being too rich was a problem. Uh, you can do a little shortcut by going to this very edge, and then looking up, you can grab onto that, and then go all the way up to those vines and up to the boss, but I'm going to take the long way around just to give you a little tour of the area here, just because I'm nice like that. Wait, actually, I thought, do you have to go that way? What? I thought you had to, I mean, I thought there was a longer way around here to, like, explore it a little more. Huh. Maybe I'm thinking... Oh, I'm thinking of one of the DS Zelda games. My mistake. No, 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 don't, don't climb down. Don't climb down. <laughs> uh, for this fight, you're going to need your iron boots and your claw shots. And I'm pretty sure you know what boss it is. Of course it's the dragon! And his name is... Aragorok! This is probably one of the most epic fights in the game. I love this fight! So much! Alright, let's get him... I was gonna say get him Z-targeted, but I guess I can't do that right now. But watch him, just to make sure you don't get attacked by his charge. He's going to come in for... He's going to swoop down eventually and attempt to get you. Of which, you do not want that to happen. But... You do want your iron boots for that wing attack so you don't get blown off the edge if you're too close to it. And um, where'd he go? Oh, there he is. I just need to have an opportunity to do this. Okay, boots on, get the tail, and now... He's gonna fall to the ground, which will knock off some of his armor. And rinse and repeat. <laughs> That's pretty much what you have to do in the first phase that, whoa, that I was waiting for. 
Man, the wing beats are so powerful. Alright, come back around, come back around. Where are you coming around from? I'm not sure. Just don't knock me off the edge, that would be nice of you. And you're going to come in low, so that means you're just going to swoop. Put on your boots when he swoops like that, and you won't have to worry about the wind. It's not a hard fight in the slightest, but dear lord is it fun. And, well, not, not so much the first phase. I mean, the first phase is okay, but the second phase is where things get epic. Alright, let's... Where, where do you go? Oh, there we go. I was wondering. Oh, shoot! I'm supposed to be up on top of the pillars. Forgot about that. Oop, need to be a little lower. Aren't I? Yeah, because I have to grab onto that and then put on the iron boots. There we go. And now it's back as exposed, which is its weakness. And the way you get on it is very similar to um, the third dungeon's boss, actually. More feel. And now it is raining! He breaks off the rest of his armor. I guess he figured it was pretty much useless at this point. Oh, jeez! And the rain will make stuff pop out of the ground. Namely, these pea hats. I think you know where this battle is going now. To the skies! In phase two. And it requires you to use a rather intelligent uh, claw shot moves. Like over here, he's gonna be targeting you with his fire, so what you're gonna wanna do is go from one pillar to the other so he can't get a lock on you as you're climbing up. It's also faster to climb this way in general. And there we go. And here we are. So epic. All right. Get on the pea hats. Get all the way around the back of them. And you gotta watch out for the fire as well. Later on, he's gonna shoot two streams of fire and you're actually gonna have to turn around the other way. It's pretty tricky. But it can be done. Alright, now from here, stop Z targeting. Then Z target him. Attack! Yeah! And that's how it's done, baby. And then you gotta climb back up to the top. Ugh! Might as well get up there right away. Oh, he's on the ground because I can't attack him anymore. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't go off. Don't go off the edge, Link. <laughs> and keep climbing. Keep climbing. Don't stop moving. He's coming for you. <laughs> oh, jeez. This is what I mean about him getting blowing fire wherever the heck you are. Go, 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 go. Oh, jeez. No, 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 not through it. Oh, oh, jeez. That sucked. <laughs> but that's fine, I guess. I have 16 hearts. I'm almost invincible with 16 hearts. <laughs> I don't see myself ever dying in this walkthrough at this point. Alright. Shoot your fire over towards me, or are you gonna... Okay. I, I just want him to stop his flame breath there, his flamethrower attack. Alright, let's get back up there. Now, watch his fire. Wherever he's gonna shoot from, you wanna go in the opposite direction. Just wait for the fire. He's gonna do it twice this time. Okay, he's gonna follow you with it. And then he's gonna shoot... He's gonna turn around quick and then shoot from the other side. Once he's done with his fire stream. Just watch for it. Wait for it. Or maybe it's not yet. Maybe it's not yet. Oh, there we go. Guess it's not yet. <laughs> yeah! Alright, I guess it's the third part, I mean the third attack phase in the in the boss battle here. Uh, 
climbing back. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Okay, where are you going to shoot your fire at? That way? Okay. I'm going to go where you just shot. No! How could I do such a thing? <laughs> at least it doesn't take that long to get back up there, so I guess that's not that big of a deal if you flub it up like that. See, I pressed the A button to let go, and I shouldn't have done that. There you go. And up on top. Now just watch what he's doing. Pay close attention. You do not want to get caught in the fire, otherwise you'll have to climb back up here again. And you won't be able to hit him, so... Yeah! And... There we go. This fire stream. Let's keep going, keep going. And now he's going to switch sides, so you switch sides as well. There we go. I got it. I got this. And that's pretty much it for the boss fight. You got the hang of it by now, I'm sure. I mean, jeez. You've been claw shotting your way all the way across the sky. <laughs> yes, I had to make that reference. And that's all. I love that fight so much! So epic! Woo! That's what you get for terrorizing my chicken buddies! Perfect! <laughs> And there's the final mirror shard. Woo! Mm hmm. Woot! Ah, I'm gonna have to come back through here though for all those treasure chests. <laughs> oh well. And my heater decided to turn on again. Forgot to turn that off again. That curses. <laughs> yup. Do not leave without collecting that heart piece. Well, heart container. But no, we don't have to hurry. The game will wait for us. Don't be silly. <laughs> Just like Link versus Shadow Link. And Heart Piece. Well, I said Heart Piece again. It's a heart container. Dang it. And we're at 17. Let's exit the dungeon. Well, there is, but my wallet's full, so yeah. <laughs> Remember, you can come back here with the cannon back at Lake Hylia, so it's no big deal. Yes, please. And... wow, this is taking me a long time. <laughs> mm, here we are. She didn't pop us back to the ground, so we gotta do that manually. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, actually, where is the... Oh, I'm on the wrong side. Curses! <laughs> See, what I want to do is get a couple of rupees and then go buy the magic armor. I'll show that at the end of this part, so I'm going to go grind for like nine rupees and see you back at the uh, uh, Hyrule Castle shop. Ah! Did not know I would get mail. <laughs> I should expect that by now. This guy is very savvy. Three letters? I was not gone for that long. <laughs> Alright, let's see what they have to say. Oh, wow. Yes! That's the place I'm going to, actually. 
Mat limit one. There's only one uh, magic armor in the game, so once you buy it, it's gone for good. It's not like they're putting a limit on milk or something like that that will eventually be replenished. Uh, that's that game I'm going to have to take care of soon, now that I have both claw shots. But, what? <laughs> that, really? What? That took a long time, and it was, I mean, it, it. You worked so hard on it. What? Uh, that I will do. You know, once I. Uh, that was from Uko Junior. Ah, I get it. Uh, there's no more pages to them. Oh, okay. Can't believe it. Well, I suppose that might be hard for someone that doesn't have. Um, you know, hands to be able to write a letter, so... <laughs> and if you look around town, you'll notice that people have... Um... Hmm. You'll notice that people have, um, Mallowmark bags. That's indicating that the shop that we, uh, let them take over is really blossoming. <laughs> I can't I can't go in the first person mode though, can I? That's too bad. Oh, thank you. Uh, no, not yet. <laughs> Alright, let's just go to the shop. So here wait 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 what no no no. Not there. Let's talk to the people outside the shop. No, no need. The shop has taken over. You'll notice that there's Mallow Mart signs on the outside now. That's kind of interesting though. If you actually had that guy pay to shine your shoes, which you can still do for the fun of it, and you have this wallet, you won't have enough money to pay for the uh, armor. <laughs> this place is booming! Oh yeah! <laughs> Best takeover ever! <laughs> and before I talk to the shopkeeper guy, which is now a lot happier. I guess he's happier to be an employee of Mallow as opposed to um, being his own snooty store. This I will do. And he just did a moonwalk. <laughs> this is what I'm here for. The magic armor. Yes, I am. Yeah! <laughs> you bought it. You are smart. You bought it at a Mallow Mart. <laughs> This music is ridiculous. It's a it's a remix of the shop a shop music, but still, the way they did it, it's just so <laughs> awesome. And you'll notice that the price of the other stuff also went down, so it's more like a, um, a discount store than it, compared to what it was before. All right, now to show you what the magic armor is like, I'm gonna go back outside Castle Town to show you. Um, I don't- I thought I only have two rupees. See, what this- this armor does, is when you wear it, you are completely invincible. But, it saps your rupees. So, it's an armor that keeps paying for its effect, basically. <laughs> Which kind of makes sense, considering how much money this game gives you and all, so... It's not like you're going to be that low on rupees, even if you use the armor, but... I mean, even if you use the armor for major fights and stuff like that. So the reason why I want to show you it outside is because I need to get it get to an enemy that will cause some sort of damage to demonstrate the armor's ability. <laughs> um, isn't there a... Uh, Helmasaur around here? Or there was? Where's an enemy when you need it? Dang it. Ah, oh, there we go. And, oh wait, I should get a little closer. 
one. I know you hear me. And let's, oops, put on the armor. See, armor that protects its wearer by making rupees magical. Without rupees, it impedes movement. It's like wearing the iron boots without this magic armor. Anyway, no damage. And now that I'm out of rupees, because it I already used those two rupees that I had left. Now it's like, oh, can't move, help! <laughs> so I, I think I think you get the idea of how this armor is. It's really, really cheap if you have rupees. Although technically it's not cheap because it uses rupees, but you get what I'm talking about here. And with that, I'm going to end off this part. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.